What's up, man? It's your boy A to Z, man. We're right here outside the studio of Sebastian and DJ Deli. We're about to check out the studio. Come on, guys. Let's tap in. Rock for the Illinois. Everybody, lit group. Um, Snake the Goat, uh, also known as Sebastian Miller. That's my legal name, but I am known as Snake the Goat in the music industry. Can you tell us where we are? We are at Lit Music Group Studios in Rockford, Illinois. Uh, right next to Don Carter Lanes. If you don't know, look us up, litmusicgroup.org. And what do you do? Everything. Um, I rap, I produce, engineer, I'm a businessman. Businessman first over everything. Um, but yeah, I, I'm an engineer, artist. Yep. What got you into music? Um, I've been doing music since I was four, three years. I was a little kid. Uh, I told this, I said this in my last interview too, but like I was, when I was a little kid, I used to rap over the radio, it's popular songs. I used to like just rap over it, over the artist's uh, voice and stuff. So, and what got me serious was just like, I don't know. I, when I was in California, I was always just out with my friends. We was always doing music. We were always doing some dumb shit and we just rapped about it. So that's kind of how like I got into it. So, yep. And when did the producer when nobody wanted to produce for me <laughs> um yeah so i was just like you know what first i was just recording myself and then i was like you know yeah i can use these youtube beats yeah i can buy leases but like i want to create my own sound a lot of engineers you know they they gotta get paid and i respect that i understand but you know for me it was like okay before i spend all this money with you because i've had this happen a lot and also with a lot of other artists which is why you know our focus over here at live music group is to uh build up an artist you know build a relationship because it's not just on the clock record get out it's no you got to build a relationship with your artist because every artist is fragile every artist has a vision nobody would help me with my vision so i made my own vision and that's what i want to do for other artists so how long did it take you to be where you are right now two years i started seriously two years ago like went just all out two years ago um, doing shows. I performed in front of, I performed with El Hitta. I performed with um, King Louie. Uh, a couple, a bunch of other local artists I got to perform with. Um, Kid Griffey, got to perform with him. Um, Dead Boy Midnight, shout out Dead Boy. Got to perform with Dead Boy. Uh, I haven't performed with anybody from Well Connected, but I do like Well Connected too. So, I mean, Living Short, got to perform my boy Living Short, you know, so I mean, yeah, there's there's been a lot of cool things, you know, going on, so, yeah. Now, can you tell us what are you planning on doing with your space? Yes, um, so right now we have our recording studio. Um, we're going to end up getting some... Um, we're going to have some additions added as well, uh, some stuff that's separate from the business. Um, which we'll get into that later because I don't have a name for the business yet, but um, we are going to turn this into, to sum it up, a vibe. You know, my artists are going to be able to come here and have a good time and feel like they're in Hollywood for the night. And that's my goal because you don't need to go to Hollywood to have a Hollywood experience. You know, Rockford is lit. I don't care what anybody says. Rockford is fucking lit. You got bars, excuse my language. You got, you got bars that are out here. You got the strip clubs. You got the casinos. I mean, and then you got Chicago 45 minutes away, 30, 30 45. And then you got Janesville. Like, this is a spot. So, yeah, I mean, my goal is to add to that, add to the city, add to the culture, um, give options, right? When you get hungry, you think, oh, man, I want a burger. But where do you want to get your burger from? You got McDonald's, Burger King, In-N-Out. There's no in and out out here, but you got five guys. You got this. You got that, right? You got options. 
Out here, you want to record in a recording studio, it's so hard to find a recording studio. Why? It's not hard to find us. You look up litmusicgroup.org, we pop right up. We're there. It's easy. You can book a session right online. You can message me directly on my social media, Snake the Goat, Living Short, DJ Deli. We're all here. And it's like, if you want to grow in this industry the correct way, hit us up. We will help you. But it costs money. Nothing's free. So... Is there any requirements an artist has to have in order to fuck with him? Yeah, I get what you're saying. Because, yeah. It's this simple. I don't judge nobody. Um, if an artist wants to record with me, I need a deposit. You give me a deposit right away, that's going to establish a relationship, trust that you're serious. Once you come through, you know, artists show up a little late every now and then. I get it. We're all on our time, you know. We're artists. I'm not worried about that. You know, but it's like, if you come to my studio and you're involved with me, you're giving me ideas. Me, I like to be told what to do, too. I don't like to just have to guess. I can't guess what an artist is thinking, what they're trying to do. You tell me what you want me to do. I'm going to throw my sauce on it, do me, but you need to communicate with me. That's why artist-producer relationship. Shout out Sancho Dominguez. He hit me up on, or Domingo. Fuck, I, I don't even know. <laughs> Shout out him because he just tagged me in a picture online. He was just talking about artist-engineer relationships, and it's like, Everything in life is a relationship, and that's why it's so important to build a relationship with your clients. So that's why they come back, so they trust you. They know that you're going to put the energy and effort. Because me, yes, my money is important, my time is important. But at the same time, I'm going to treat your career the same way I treat my career. And if you don't know, Snake the Goat, check me out on platforms. I don't play about my career. So, yeah. Do you just mix and master, or do you also... I make beats. Um, I do make beats. I've actually made the beats to a lot of my own tracks, um, which haven't released a song yet with the beat that I've produced uh, because I like to network. I have producers from Germany that message me way too lost. I don't know if you guys heard of them, but they're from Germany. Um, and they're the they're, they were the creators behind Trust No One, which was my number one song that got me going um, globally. I don't need to be the artist making every single... I'm an artist first. I'm a, ra I'm a rapper. Like, I'm Snake the Goat. That's me. I make beats, yes. I like making beats. But if an artist wants me to make them their beats and, and record them, engineer the sound, I will take care of you. But you need to take care of me. It's that simple. So, Honestly, Google search me. Snake the Goat, Lit Music Group. Um, I should pop up. Apple Music, Spotify, Pandora... Snake the goat, all lowercase, no spaces. I hate when people spell my name with capital letters and space it out because that's not how you spell my name. It's snake the goat, S-N-A-K-E-T-H-E-G-O-A-T, -E -E all one word. Snake the goat, all lowercases. You can search me up. Everything will pop up or go, just go to litmusicgroup.org. Um, you'll see everything about me on there. I'm going to have an artist page soon on that website as well with all the artists. Uh, I'll be on there with all my links, my link tree. DJ Deli will be on there. Living Short will be on there. Um, and all my other artists who I also make music with, um, if they want to be on my artist page as well for songs that I made for them, they'll be on there as well. You know, so it's easy. Everywhere. Releasing a single? Yeah. EP. I do got some 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 uh, some heat in the oven. I might drop a couple tracks here in the next couple weeks. Um uh, I don't know which tracks I'm going to, I mean, I do know which tracks I'm going to drop. I just don't know which order I'm going to drop them in. I got a track coming out with my, my homie Living Short. I'm going to be dropping a song. Don't know what it's called yet, but it's done. It's ready to go. Um, I got another single dropping that I actually produced the beat to. That song's Mr. Number 26. And in case you don't know, Snake the Go, he's Mr. 26. So it's just my other alias. So it has a meaning to it. You'll hear it in the song. <laughs> Um, and then I got another song dropping too called CEO that I also made the beat to. So I've got a couple songs coming out. Um, I was going to drop an album, but right now I don't care about dropping an album because nobody's paying me to drop an album. So I'm going to drop singles until somebody wants to pay me to drop an album. So. Yep. Okay. And where are we? Uh, right now we're in Lit Studios, um, close to Don Carter's. Now, what do you do here? I'm an engineer, producer. Also DJ too. Um, that's pretty much it. Now, uh, is there a type of genre you like to produce? Or? Um, mainly like you know, whatever comes to mind. I mean, between like R and B and hip hop. Um, but 
I do find myself kind of like venturing off into like just experimenting, uh, experimenting with different sounds or whatnot. Now, when when are you usually open for studio sessions? Um, so I mean, I work during the day, um, and then I also have school on Mondays and Wednesday nights. So pretty much any time. That's not that, you know, so I guess I guess we'll say Mondays and Wednesdays, no. But Tuesdays, Thursdays, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. Um, mostly during the nights. However, on the weekends I could, you know, spare some daytime. What what got you to mix during the producing? Um shoot. Just messing around on GarageBand. Uh, that was my first uh, DAW that I used. Um, I was just messing around on that um, during sophomore year, you know. And then maybe like a few years later, um, I, you know, I met some friends that, you know, also are into music and they rap and, you know, whatnot. So, you know, it just kind of, um, inspired me, I guess, you know, to get into it. Just to like, you know, see what, I, where my passion can take me and whatnot. So from a week from now, is there any shows, events, uh, parties? Um, I mean, I am doing a private birthday party um, Saturday. Um, but honestly, I haven't really been booking any other events um, like that lately just because I've been in school I'm trying to finish um, I graduate in June yeah so oh, yeah, but, um, now where should people reach you at where should people look for your stuff you, uh, you can find me on Facebook I couldn't change my name to DJ Deli because they wouldn't let me for some reason um, but you can find me on Facebook at Cordell King and then Instagram the real DJ Deli at before that and then um, on TikTok, you can also find me at DJ Deli A One Five. All right, can you tell us who you are, man? Yeah, uh, my name, my stage name is Living Short, all caps, uh, with a money sign. And what do you do? I'm an artist. Uh, I'm trying to get into engineering and producing as well. You know, creating a vibe. So uh, you know, just headed towards the path that uh, I'm trying to pave. You know. So. What got you into music? Um, that's hard to say. I would say, you know, I would say a lot of a lot of stuff that's happened in my life, you know, that's got me into music. So, what is your favorite genre? Favorite genre? Probably like that rock and roll, uh, low vibe, sci-fi. You know, like I'm all into that. So, that dark, 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 dark road. Like kind of like Juice World, you know. Maybe like Destroy Lonely, he's, he's dope. I, I fuck with him too, so. How, when did you make your first track and how? Made my first track probably, say around 18 years old. I'm 24 currently. So uh, it's been a while, you know. Uh, but I've definitely shown a lot of improvement since then, you know. Before I used to take it as a hobby and then I, and then I took it serious, you know. Uh, right now, at my point in my life, I'm just trying to explore my options as far as being an artist and uh, being a videographer too. That's another thing I really want to be passionate about because I, you know, I was on the camera for one time and I fell in love with it. So, uh, you know. Now uh, I just want to ask, what got you into producing? Producing, uh, like my homie Snake the Goat. <laughs> You know, a lot of people, uh, it was hard to get in the studio, you know, so I had some bad experiences at times, you know, especially spending some money. Uh, so, uh, you know, it, it's really hard to find somebody out here that actually appreciates your work and tries to put in the effort and try to deliver what you actually envision, you know. So, you know, if you have that type of support, that's by far one of the best experiences you can have as an artist. How was the adventure being a, an artist? The adventure of being an artist, yeah. it's been a long road, you know, you definitely, you know, at times you want to give up, you know, definitely feel like we've all been there, 
to be honest with yourself. Uh, but you just got to keep going forward, man. Don't let no, nothing stop you. Nobody stop you. So you just got to be in tune with yourself. Where where do you recommend people check for you for them to check out your stuff? Um, you know, I definitely am all, all platforms across, you know what I'm saying, Apple Music, Spotify, you know, you name it, I'm on there. Just type in Living Short, all caps, you know, with a money sign and apostrophe, and, you know, you'll find me. So. Uh, and two weeks from now, what, should anybody keep an eye out for a project, EP, single, project? Yeah, I mean, you know, I got I got some throwaways I can still you know drop, but uh, in terms of something I really value, yeah, I got I got a single that's about to drop soon, you know, with my boys. So, so I'm really looking forward to that one. Uh, you want to give any shout outs? I mean, shout out that boy. Like I said, that's my nigga. That nigga's cool as hell, bro. Shout out Ty. I mean, I fuck with that boy too. You feel me? So. I mean, it's all gang gang in this bitch. You know, we all brothers, and uh, we just trying to see growth and development in Rockford. That's our main goal. Hell yeah. Shit, just like that. Blood.